Hi guys, Blaze here. Um, we all have our little interests that we like to learn things about. And me, I like to learn about different religions and uh, different ways that people worship them. Um, I have always been fascinated by voodoo, voodoo, and hoodoo. Um, but I didn't know a whole lot about it. I had uh, gone to school, to college, and met a couple people whose mother had practiced voodoo. And uh, I learned a few things from them, but still didn't know that much. I felt kind of ignorant on the subject. Uh, I recently bought a book. It's called Hoodoo Mysteries, Folk Magic, Mysticism, and Rituals by Ray uh, Mount Mobro. Uh, some people also know him as Reverend Ray T. Marlboro. Um, this is the book. It was very informative. Um, this man was raised by a French Creole family in New Orleans. And he lived and worked in New Orleans. And he studied um, different religion. And he goes into not only the history uh, of the development of voodoo and voodoo and hoodoo in uh, New Orleans, but also where it came from, um, him seeing it developing through the years, and uh, he also um, talks about how uh, when Christians came in, that uh, a lot of the um, the slaves and, and anybody that the Christians wanted to convert um, were forced into, you know, leaving their practices. They were not allowed to practice how they wanted to and how they were used to, but they were told and forced to practice in a Christian manner because they were being converted. Um, this, in turn, influences voodoo and hoodoo very much. There's other books that he's written. Let me look them up so I don't get the names of them wrong. Uh, Charms, Spells, and Formulas, which goes into the making and use of Grigri bags, herbal candles, doll magic, incense oils, and powders. And then he has another one, The Magical Power of Saints. Um, the Evocation and candle rituals. Now, um, I have not had the pleasure of reading these books, although if I ever run across them affordable or get given them, I will read them because I really like this author and the way that he um, writes and tries to teach you the information and the history. Um, now, in the power of magic the Magical Power of Saints, I'm sorry. Um, it says that he goes into Satora, Kondolb, and Vudon, and how um, people began to worship their gods under the guise of Christian saints. Um, and as y'all know, a lot of the, and forgive me if I get the terminology wrong, I am new to this, um, a lot of the hoodoo and the voodoo um, that is done is done with a lot of the Christian saint candles and uh, evoking and uh, using that power. Um, I was very, very interested in this um, for years. I've watched some, you know, History Channel, A&E documentary type things. Um, I saw a very good one. I believe it was called The Divine Horseman. It's on instant play on Netflix. If anyone has Netflix, very good. That looked like someone who went um, over to, I may get this wrong, I don't know, over to Haiti or one of the continents near or areas near Haiti um, but that showed a lot of the celebration and the rituals that they do and it's beautiful if you if you sit and watch it it may not be the way you believe and it may not believe be things that you believe in but it was really beautiful for me to sit down and watch this because um, the way that they communicate non-verbally the uh, dedication, the 
the beauty of the whole ritual. I just really think that, you know, that many people getting together for a ritual and sharing experience is very beautiful. And if you don't like or can't handle or don't want to see animal sacrifice, don't watch anything like this. Um, because if you don't agree with it and you don't like it, you know, don't send out negative vibes to everybody else by saying, ooh, that's wrong or whatever. I myself am not into animal sacrifice, but I can understand where um, a lot of the groups still do this. But this is, this that's part of their teaching, that's part of their religion, and that's part of keeping what they believe in alive. And for that... I think that's fine. Um, but like I said, there are a few a few shows out there on Voodoo um, that are very good. You know, keep in mind Hollywood if you're watching regular movies and not documentaries. Um, Hollywood does blow a lot of this stuff out of proportion, just like it does, you know, with Wicca or, you know, Voodoo. They do the same thing. Um, but uh, there are a lot of good movies out there that if you just like the subject of voodoo and you want a movie that's got, you know, the voodoo air to it, there's a lot of good ones out there. Um, just as there are a lot of, you know, good witchcraft subject movies. Um, I myself do not follow the path of voodoo, voodoo or hoodoo, but I can understand why some people do. Um, like I said, I think that the the practice that I saw on the documentary Divine Horseman was a very beautiful experience. And um, if you're interested in voodoo, hoodoo, and voodoo, you should definitely check that out. And like I said, any of this man's books um, I think would be great to read. Um, he's very down to earth. He knows his subject very well. Um, I get the feeling from the books that he does follow this practice or has followed the practice. I don't know which, but with, you know, later on, his later books, he's known as a reverend. So I'm assuming that he is definitely still practicing. Um, so, yeah, check that out if you're interested. And if anybody else has any books or subjects or movies that they find interesting in this area, please post them because we need as much um, education and tolerance in this world as we can get. Um, you do not fear what you learn about. Uh, I think a lot of people are intolerant and fearful of what they do not know. And the more we can spread the education out there, uh, get it out in the open, the better off we are. So, um, yeah. So that's what I've been doing. And uh, y'all hang in there and have a good week. Thank you and bless be.